And you're going to be on Fox and Friends. Uh, they are trying to set it up for Thursday morning. Okay. So now, what do we need to do? Because you're getting screwed three ways to Sunday. Well, you know, I'm sorry, 301-694-9363, 301-694-9363, WFMD. I ain't saying this because he's my brother. Uh, Brad is my old brother. I love him to death. He is one of the, I can tell you that nothing means more to Brad than his integrity and his character. And, uh, the, the you know, you violated a policy. And I accept you, responsibility. And you accept responsibility, and yes. you ex- you you accept some form of punishment. Absolutely. But you do not believe that a three-year ban is appropriate for being terminated in a three-year ban. I would have thought of a letter of uh, reprimand, maybe a few game suspension, something that would have been there. Well, is there been. a rule that if uh, 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 athletes are around alcohol but don't partake, they're suspended for twenty percent of the games or something? Correct. The new alcohol policy for students is if they are around alcohol or tobacco and they don't leave or they partake, um, they are suspended for for their first infraction twenty percent of okay. the games, the second infraction for the entire year. So why wouldn't you get suspended for twenty percent of your games? That's a good question. Or at least you know say you know. 20% of your games, and you need to be assistant coach and not head right. coach. I, I would assume they're going to say that students and, but they and didn't employees just, they are did, different. They just didn't ban you for three years. They also banned your coach. My assistant coach. Or my, sorry, my JV coach. Your Dan JV Faven, coach. Yes. yes. Okay, so the JV coach and yourself are gone yes. for three years. Let's go to the phone lines. Talk to Connie. Connie. Hey, Blaine, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. My big brother's in trouble, and it hurts my heart because I know what a good person he is, and I know how much he loves those kids and how much – how much time and effort he put in out there to uh, help build those program and the dugouts, and it's just it's just a damn shame, Connie, and I hope I, it's not because of me. Uh, you know, Blaine, I, I, I listened to um, Bob Miller this morning. I hear a really hurtful, starful voice in him. He sounds much better this afternoon on your show. But, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm, okay, first of all, make it clear to me, is he employed by the, Board of Education? No, he owns his own business, which is Maryland Financial Planners, but go ahead and, and tell them so you why, do... Why what, the, they, the technicality yeah. is that he, as a coach, I do get a small amount of compensation. What do you get compensated to be a coach? It's roughly $3,000, okay. and I get a W-2, so that definitely He gets $3,000 a year for being head coach. You know what I think, though, Blaine? I think he was set up. He was set up? I think he, I think he was set up. I know I he was set up. up. And I, I mean, I don't. I know you. I know you know what type of person you are. I, I don't know. I don't know Brad, Brad that well, but I do know the family. And I'm, I'm not saying it because I think that you're a friend of mine, but I really think that he was set up. And it seems really strange that if you can go, I can see your point. Taking kids into a restaurant and they're going to be charged if if kids are drinking re- drinking in the restaurant. But this is your own private home. Well, what I'm trying to say is he could have had this event at Dutch's daughter. And what I'm trying to say, Dutch's daughter, he could have had a year-end celebration at Dutch's daughter, which serves alcohol, right. and none of the kids still drank, but they could have been around alcohol as other right. tables around them could right. have been ordered, ordering drinks that had nothing to do with his party or his, uh, uh, you know, the celebration. Okay, well, what about the NBA, the NBN banquet that they had? MVAL banquet. Well, again... I'm not saying that he sh- there, there should be some kind of punishment for three years. Come on. Yep. You know what? I, I always say that you do something right, you hear about it one time. Yep. You do something wrong, he's going to hear about that for a lifetime. My problem is common sense is not prevailing here. No. It's, and it's and he, he's admitted he's made a mistake. Yes, he, he has. Accept, he's, he's accepting uh, a punishment for it, but I think a three-year ban is, is uncalled for. too long. It is. It's too long. And I and I hope I hope things work out in his hands. Well, his hand. it's in Linda Brigie's court, and if you have email or you want to pick up the phone and email uh, Linda Brigie or call her, that is the person he will be meeting with. And when? Uh, it's scheduled to meet July 29th. July 29th, he'll be meeting with the superintendent to uh, state his case. Yeah. Uh, okay. I will. I, I, ha- I have email, but I don't have it hooked up right now. All right, Connie. I, I will um, call Linda Brigie. Linda Brigie, the superintendent of schools. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you all hang in there. All Thank right. you. Bye-bye. All right, bye bye. Craig, welcome to the program. Hi, Blaine. Uh, I'll tell you, this is an absolute outrage, and it. I'm going to say something a little bit radical here, um, but this is a another reason why the county government should not be in the education business, and I don't think any government should be in the education business. I think our schools should be private, and I think that there's no common sense 
and the county government whatsoever. I mean, this is absolutely ludicrous. If anybody should have been punished, it should have been the parent that brought the beer there. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous, and and I just every time I hear something like this, I lose any faith sure. at all that I had in the county well, government to start with. Here's the problem I have: is apparently they did an investigation, and he's talked to more than thirty plus people that were there, and none of them say they were contacted. So, what type of was this, this a witch hunt or was this, this an investigation? Thing, this, this stinks to high heaven. There's, all right, Craig. No, like you said, there's no common sense at all in this whole equation, and it is just absolutely ridiculous. And and these these see that's the problem with these people that work for the government is they don't feel like they're accountable to anything. They don't feel like they have to have common sense. They don't. Well, feel like you know, I to told him I don't I don't know if he's going to get his coaching position back. I don't think he will. I hope they do, but uh, if he doesn't, I hope that. Uh, when I'll consider my run for county commissioner, he'll consider his run for school board. But I'll talk to you later, Craig. Take Blaine, care. Great show, Blaine. All right. Blaine, I did want to say something. I do want to say that the parents, uh, again, it, it's my fault if they were not supposed to get it, that I should have told them that the parents are not responsible. Again, they were doing what they thought was a reasonable, rational thing at a picnic and having a beer. I don't want the parents crucified. These are good people. And, again, um, that they – where they had fought in, in bringing it there. Maybe they shouldn't have done that, but it's ultimately it's my responsibility, not theirs. All right, let's go to David. David, welcome to the program, David. Hi, uh, gentlemen. How y'all doing today? Good. Good, thank you. Um, Brad, I got a question for you. Did, yes, sir. Has anybody talked to the uh, person who brought the beer? Have you talked to them? Yes. And uh, they weren't involved in any, like, uh, little scheme to try and get you set up or anything like that, were they? Abs- absolutely not. Okay, I you know this seems to me. I mean, uh, you know, it's uh, Blaine. You know, you're not the most popular guy in town with some people, well, especially others, especially the school system. I already said yeah. that. Other others, you're a rock star, but you know, uh, I'm just wondering if this uh, this wasn't a totally a political move on somebody's part. Well, maybe Lynn Carr's mad at me over the diving program. I don't know. That's uh, I mean, the people that apparently made this decision are the principal of the school and Lynn Carr. Is that correct? Uh, that's my understanding. So I don't know, and maybe a few others. I don't know the principal of the school. I know Lynn Carr, uh, and uh, maybe he's upset over the diving program. I don't know. I think uh, I think the next step is to get uh, some letters of support for uh, Brad. And, well, uh, we're doing that, and we're asking him to send to uh, the uh, Board of Education at 115 East Church Street, uh, or call down there and uh, leave messages for the superintendent at, uh, I believe it's 301... 301- Six nine six sixty eight fifty, I think. Two things, and also you can email her. I know she's received a vast number so far at Linda Bergy, Linda dot Bergy at uh, fcps dot org. Also on Facebook, there's a a new uh, page set up at Save the WHS softball coaches there's already 180 members of it uh, if you're on facebook you can friend request me and i'd be happy to let you in the group all right oh, hey, hey, thank I'll you i'll definitely do that and i think uh, i think they're gonna find they mess with the wrong guy hey thank you david